What's up everybody, it's time now to talk about Black Pearl. This video is a bit topsy-turvy, so I've just got back from Black Pearl, but I wanted to do this intro for that, because I wasn't sure what sort of content I was going to record at the convention. It's great to meet some new people for the first time, and people who talk to online and stuff and never actually met in person, so it was good to do that, and also reconnect with some people that I've met before as well. Coming up in the video is a lot of things from the dealer hall, so people doing tricks and showing you different showcase items and things like that, so I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what the trick of the convention was, what your opinion is, and let's go. So this is how you check if someone has a clean license. First you rub the photo, nope that's fine. Then you turn the card over and if you start to peel back on the corners, I'm hoping this is a clean license. No, I think that's probably the dirtiest license I've ever seen. Uh, your bottle of beer here, you could uh, open it up. Uh, you can then take the, uh, the cap at the bottom. It is printed on there. Uh, you can also have it in the pocket of the uh, cap here. You can see I need to stay visually in here is on there, which is pretty uh, really nice. 1952. I'm not going to say that you remember it, but you No, I wasn't born then. Really, yeah. <laughs> but here, look, that is a nice 15, 1952 English old penny. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, it says new penny. They're not old, but they're old to us, but they were new pennies yeah, at that time. Yeah. 1953, do you know who this is? It's Britannia. Britannia, yeah. Britannia was the protector of our waves, the protector okay. of the Queen. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, Jay, take your card, show it around if you want to. Okay. All right. Uh, put the card there. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. It's a long day. It's a long day. Three of spades. No. No. It's not three of spades. Not three of spades. That is a three of spades, but that's not your card because your face just looked miserable. Very so that's nice. So look. What the Queen does, uh, back in the day, she would uh, knight people, she would look after them, but only a hundred of these coins. 1953 is when the English penny actually came out. Okay. They're all dated 1953. Only 100 were minted in 1952. Rub the Queen's nose, make a wish. Whoa! Can't wish for money. Okay. All you can do is you can only wish for, I don't know, to make me happy. How about that? Is that all right? Thanks. Rub the Queen's nose. Do you remember your card? Yep. Turn it over, have a look at it. The card? Yeah, over it. Turn it over. Yep. That's yours? Yep. It's good, isn't it? That's eh? good. That's good. I'll tell you what, look. Sometimes what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to, like, hit yourself. You're going to get angry or whatever. Yeah. But I'm going to do something here. What's your name? Arthur. Uh, Arthur. Sorry, Arthur. Say stop. Stop. Um, Arthur, I've seen the Six of Hearts. All I want you to do is take that one for me. Okay. Have a look at it. Happy? Yes. All right. Uh, yeah. Pop that there. <laughs> I love oh, that. Leave no, I love that. I love that. That's Arthur, love do me a favour. You get to have a wish as well. Okay. Rub the Queen's nose. Make a That is making me happy. Okay. Rub the Queen's nose. Right. Turn it over. You're going to be impressed, aren't you, if that's changed? Oh. No, I did say underneath the coin, didn't I? You did. Have a look. Underneath the coin. Underneath the coin, sorry. Oh, good. That's nice. That is clever. Queen's Nose 2.0, you that get an Ace of Spades clever. reveal, and you also get a Queen of Hearts reveal, which is the original. <laughs> Ready? Cyrus Magic here at the amazing Blackpool Convention at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool. I would like someone to choose a card for me. You, sir. I'm going to run through the deck like this. You shout stop for me, okay? Stop. Excellent. Take this card, show it to the camera, show it to everyone. Don't show... Sorry, I think we've got two there. Do you want the coin to one? Excellent. That's a fair choice, right? Thank fuck. Couldn't say fairer than that. This is your chosen card now, okay? I don't know why you chose two, but whatever. It goes on the top of the deck. I'm going to lose it in the pack. 
in the fairest way I know, which is by looking at the ceiling. Because that way I can't control anything if I can't see it. Right guys? Are you still there? I'm looking up. Yeah, right guys? Good. Okay, my microphone's broken, clearly. Flip that one around. Come here. Clearly I'm not a card guy. Fair, right? Your card's lost in the pack. Now, I have a coin here. Someone's used it already. Uh, uh, where are you from? I was going to give you this pen, but I think uh, I'd rather you just use this one instead if you don't mind. You know what they're like, you never get your pen back. No, I'm kidding, of course, you can use this one. So sign your name on it, nice and big. But that little gag, by the way, is Grand Theft Sharpie. Excellent. And uh, sign a little smiley on the back. And I will check the ink is dry. Excellent. Nothing in my left, nothing in my right. Marvellous. Never look up, it's here. Just being silly. Now, put your hand like this for me, on here. Excellent. We're going to count the coins together. Are you ready? Uh, no, that's a 50, sir. <laughs> so this is a... No, two. I gave you a hint, I tell you. You're not happy. I'm being silly, of course. Two. No, three. And your sign coin makes four, of course. We get there in the end. Lift just a little off the glass and listen for the sound. As above, so below. Do you hear the sound? Good. Hold on to the coins nice and tightly. Bring your hand up. I want you to knock on the pack just once like you mean it. So don't just go, just go for it. Excellent. Did you hear that? The same noise we heard earlier. If this has worked, you had four in your hand, you should now have one, two, three. The signed coin goes right through your hand, right through the deck. And is that your smiley and your heart? Yes. on the sign coin. Excellent. Put the rest of the coins here. Now, you also did something else. You chose a card. What was it? Uh, three of diamonds. Three of diamonds. Shout when you see it, guys. Ah, there we go. Take it out slowly. Oh. Where's that gone? Did you do that? Was that like that when you chose it? It was me. That wasn't like that when you chose Hang on. There must be another three in here, surely, right? No, it's the only, th oh I know what's happened, remember that coin you signed, I forgot to mention, he is in fact a world famous diamond thief, and is that, thank you, is that your signature underneath the diamond, yeah, yeah. so that is the diamond thief. Okay. You name a number between 1 and 10. 3. 3. Red or black? Black. So we're using the two black 3s for the 3. So in case you just touch a card. It is your sign. So, you got a round of applause for your signature? <laughs> you just drop back into the room. So your card is somewhere in the middle. Here is the first three. We hold it face down and we just throw back the deck somewhere around. Here is the next one. Yes. We just drop the card again and we drop somewhere in the middle. So the two threes is finding a single card. So I hope you remember your card. Please, please turn over your card. Card. And I try to repeat the trick, but not with your sign card, with the highest card in the book, with the uh, ace of spades. So, here is the first trick. Just drop back somewhere in the middle. And here is the next one. So, so the two threes is finding a single card. It's more. But if the ace is here, it's also good. Yeah, that's it. But what if I'm lying and we not find the highest card in the pool? We find the highest hand in the pool, which is the This is the drop. Watch this. Tomorrow events. Five rice but right here. One, two, you ready? It penetrates inside. Watch this. Don't look away. Inside the bend, slow motion. Three, two. Uh, that was a 
Wow. Crazy sense handcuffs. Ready? Yeah, and I'm ready. Here is a deck of cards with one card through the slit. It's so weird, right? But this mystery, you know what happened? When you take out card and you see, actually it's a wood block inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo! Whoa! Wood block, guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's it. Watch, 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 watch. Show you an absolute miracle. One eye on the deck. One eye here. Watch. <laughs> the whole deck goes back inside the box. Every single card really inside, and that is reboxed. Finish my sweep. <laughs> <laughs> How many keys do you see? Three. Correct. Look. That middle key, it's the hardest one to get off because it's on the keychain between two others, yeah? Unless you do this. Just make it melt that way. Look how thick that thing is, boys. And then it appears wherever you want it to appear, under their watch, in their pocket, in their wallet, on their shoulder, on their head, whatever you want. That's how to keep. Please tell me, tell me stop. What you want? To select a card. Okay. Select a card. See the card. This is a classic. This is a classic. I'm going to find your card. Well, not me. I have here. Here. Two cards that are going to find your card. This is a classic. Maybe you know this. This is a classic. Okay, I will do it better. Was this your card? Okay, give me another chance. Maybe if I do it with two cards, you can see that there's nothing behind, right? I'm going to take your card from here to here. One, two, and three. Which was your card? Thank you very much. Alright, take that card. Take a look. I'll be back in. I'm not going to find your card. Your card is going to find me. You ready? Person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said there was so much well, confidence. Too, I don't too long it. break, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I get off. Yeah, yeah. Right, brilliant. Check that out. Is that a modern day magic wand? Yep. Philo, take the ring, close your hand around it, turn it over. Perfect. Take the, the sharpie, the wand, give it a wave, give it a tap on the hand. Philo, did it vanish or can you still feel it? It's in there. You, you are, it's a stupid thing, but it's in there. Okay. <laughs> Do it one more time for me, please. Give it a tap. Philo. It's in there. Right, okay. <laughs> Are you a magician? <laughs> okay, sorry. It's a question because it's in there. Yeah, yeah. All the wand is. Did you sell the wand? Yeah, yeah. Go for it one more time. Go for that. Perfect. Is it vanished or is it? <laughs> no. Stupid question, sir. Okay, yeah. I, I think you've done something, just not what I want you to do. Frida, turn your hand over this. Finger by finger, open it up for me, please. Boom! Oh, oh my goodness, that's pretty good. Wow. That's your ring. I know, it's great, right? I know what you're thinking, Harry. If you've got that one, you must have some more. I do, I actually have a whole pack of them. It's in my pocket. Just bring that out for you. I think you can just see that right there in the corner. I think that looks a bit like your ring. Yep. That is excellent. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just give that a little time. Philo knows this. Don't tear it all the way open for me, please. All the way. Um, yeah, give me the... Just pour them yeah, 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 yeah. I... And I think that would be yours. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Harry Bros. Yeah. Excellent. 
OCD. Could you, Dean, could you give them a shuffle for me, please? Because if you're a layman, you'll just give them an overhand shuffle, oh, wouldn't you? That's exactly what I'll do. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's all you can do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, whenever you're ready, I'll take those cards back. Thanks, and now, it's very simple. What we're going to do is I'm going to riffle down in a moment. I just want you to shout stop whenever you like. That'll be a card we use. Are you ready? Stop. Perfect. Dean, have a look at that card and let me see it. I mean, yeah. it's in my hands. It's a bit stupid thing to say, but I've got a card. Now, I know one thing. I know that your card is somewhere in this pack, correct? I'm going to ask you three questions. You can lie or tell the truth. I always say that. Okay. Look at this intense eye contact with Dean. I love it. First question. Was the card a small card? Yes. Second question. If I were to ask you, you could give off a tell, so I'm going to make a statement which you can either, you know, agree with or disagree with. Your card was a colour. Last question. If I were to flick through the deck of one card popped out and that just happened to be your card, would that be an impressive trick? Yeah. Or am I lying? <laughs> one card popped out. Now, I asked you was it a small card and you said yes. That was the truth. Perfect, because that is a small card. The second question was, uh, it was a club, you said no, that was a lie because this is definitely a club. Third question for you, mate. What was the card you chose? Three of clubs. Hi mum, I'm on TV. Cyrus Magic here at the Blackpool 2023 convention here in the Horseshoe. I'm going to show you something new, polka dot. I received these the other day from the bicycle playing card company and I've had a million cards. Blue dot, blue back. Red dot, red back. And I've never seen them before. Have you seen them before, Ian? Have a look at this one for me. I'm going to put the red one away. We'll come nope. back to that shortly. Never seen that before. No, and I hadn't either. So I emailed Bicycle, and it's not a sticker, it's part of the card, right? I emailed Bicycle and I asked them, what are these cards? They said, oh, we're really sorry. These aren't supposed to go out to you, the shopper. These are for us in the factory to check print alignment. I was intrigued. I said, how does that work? They said, it's very easy. I myself am a Blue Deck user. He said, if you line it up with the angel on the back here, and you look at the spot, and you look at the angel, if it was off center, like there, the human eye is really good at spotting when it doesn't line up, yeah? Agreed? Is it centered? Yeah. Well, no, it's not, look, because the angel's there. Right, but you can notice, can't you, yeah. when it's not lined up. But I noticed another weird optical illusion. If you poke the dot, boop, the boop is for me. But what happens when you poke the dot is the dot becomes a hole. And if you'd like to finger my hole, thank you very much, yeah? <laughs> Don't use that one on the kids' circuit, <laughs> but the adults do So, it is an optical illusion. Because once you know you're looking through a kind of window and you can see that window versus the card behind it. You look at the window, look at the card behind. Once it's here, if you can't see my finger, it can't be a window. And if it's not a window, it can only be a painted dot. Right? It's weird though, but that's not the weirdest part. If we swap the blue one for the red one. I was just checking where the red one was. So if we swap the blue one for the red one, can you confirm it's still as it was? It's yep. part of the card, nothing added, nothing taken away. I'm gonna go through the blue deck. Dean's gonna say stop for me. Somewhere ideally near the middle of this blue deck, whenever you like, you shout stop and I will stop him. What card did you get, Dean? Show everyone. Show the camera, don't show me. It doesn't matter if I see it, I have seen this trick before, but I'll try not to cheat. Okay? So if I take the card, oh, more importantly, check the back. Regular blue back card from a blue back deck. There's a weird anomaly. If you're competition entries, you can just leave them there. Thank you so much. The weird anomaly happens when I use the red card. Because we all know the color doesn't match. <laughs> But the window optical illusion still works. So if I take the cards away, and you look here, and you look at the dot, you look here, you look at the dot, you can see through the card, technically. But if you poke the dot, boop, then you, oh. I think you poke that one a bit too hard, mate. 
Because what's happened there is you poke the red ink on to the chosen card. Check it for me, Ian. Is that on there? Is that part of the back of the card? That's definitely on there. Certainly not a sticker. No. Nope. Or any kind of sticker kicker. <laughs> a little in joke, huh? <laughs> but that's not the weird bit. The weird bit is you get another red dot. Because you poke the ink so hard, poke the dot, boop, and this time you can paint the whole card red. In fact, you can paint the whole card red. In fact, you can, yeah, you can paint the whole deck red. There are no blue cards, it's just a red deck. The only blue card is this. I guess I'll send that back to the factory. Bubble, bubble, bubble. It doesn't want to come out! <laughs> but no! <laughs> this is the pressure of filming. <laughs> right, let's do it again. <laughs> that was like perfect. <laughs> I was hit by lightning as a child, and it gave me the power of bubbles. I am the bubble man. No, I'm not. Okay, right. I am now the bubble man once more. Every few seconds. And can you hold out your hold out your finger like that? Take, try and push through. Oh, here. It's the wrong way around, isn't it? Okay. Keep doing that. Everything, check everything. There you go. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Party. Snowy, the snow. Be gone. <laughs> Ready? Right, here we go. Tic tac or a deck of cards? What? In case you blinked, I'll do it one more time, all right? You have a tic-tac and a deck of cards. And the best part is you can tip out the cards, they can examine the box, you can go into your favourite card trick. Yeah, yeah. one effect. Do you think it's the best Let's do this. In fact, I'd rather do this with a red deck of cards. What? Got to stop doing that sound. <laughs> that one's called Blink. Boom. Uh, what about... Here we've got the brand new North Star Midnight Edition Mark Deck. This is a revolutionary Mark Deck, let me show you how. Just by looking here, that's a three of spades. You can tell it's three of spades. That's a king of clubs. That one there is a five of clubs. All of them are hand-designed as famous travellers around the world. But the marking is not here and not here. The marking is hidden in plain sight. Just look for the black lines and they might just pop out at you like a seven of hearts. Check it out, that is North Star playing cards. Boom. All right. Four parts. Oh, so cute! Hi, so we're going to do a magic trick here. It's the uh, special pack of cards that reveals a secret about something. Do you want to hold your hands out face up for me, just like this? Okay. So what I want you to do is take this hand and cut the cards about halfway. It's awesome. What card have we got? So have a look. Nothing, because the cards are blank unless it finds your fears. And what your fear is? Let's have a look. Ooh. It's a spider. Okay, so if you keep your hand there for me, what we're going to do, we're going to make this spider disappear. Not going to show you. It's completely vanished. But we're going to bring the spider back. And the way that we're going to bring the spider back is if you wave this hand over the cards, you'll find the spider. Ah! <laughs> okay, this is a borrow phone. Yeah, this is a borrow phone. Can you please uh, touch any four numbers? Okay, borrow phone. Selected numbers and now the magic that I can erase it all and not only the one and the five touching but without touching the eight just with the air it's something like this but this is the iPhone from him so I want you to try to to erase the six can you no no you're not doing doing bad you have to do this and with static then you can erase it and the seat is here so I can put it back and I can take the other number and put it back and the other and, and sorry
sorry, the, the dot. The dot. And do you remember the, the first number? Can you take from the air and put it? No, no? But you have it in your finger? Can you give it to me? Thank you. No, we move. Yes, you have it. It's going out on television. Watch this. Live television. Okay, this is really cool. There's a magician in the 1970s called Pat Conway. Let me show you him. This is Pat. Pat Conway. Alright. He was known as the king of matchbox magic. This isn't a bullshit story. This is true. Uh, sadly, he died when he was 100 a few months ago. And I went and bought his entire collection and all the rights to his tricks. Let me show you it. it, it it's, it's so good. You're going to be amazed. Now you've got to use your imagination for this, but say I'm sure you use your imagination quite a bit, am I right? Yeah, yeah, you see I'm good, I'm a mind reader. Now look, you've got to imagine that this solid piece of perspex here is the Great Wall of China, alright? I've got two matchboxes down here. You've got to imagine that this little drawing pin here is David Copperfield, alright? Now if you remember when Copperfield walked through the Great Wall of China, then I'm sure you'll remember as well, he had like a, this is solid by the way, he had like a little tunnel on each side that he went through, right? So look, Copperfield's over here, there's the drawn pin, right? Now watch, still there, still there. If you blink, you'll miss it, watch. <laughs> Look, that is incredible. I love it. Woo! No, don't, don't stop, don't stop. Watch this one. One more. The same guy. It's so good. Everyone's doing magic and shit on video now. On like Zoom and TikTok and stuff. Like, it's a perfect trick for that, but it's also a great bar trick. So this one's fab. Another matchbox trick from Pat Conway. Now, this is a washer and what a washer it is. Hold your hand out, sir. We got it. All right, Andre, good. Where are you from, Andre? Germany. Oh, wow, you came a long way to see the magic trick with the matchbox and the yes. washer. Appreciate that. Now look, this is a normal matchbox like you'd find in anyone's kitchen at home. Um, you know, it's a matchbox with a piece of string going through it. Nothing weird about that. <laughs> now, if you want to just drop the washer into the box, that would be great. That's perfect. You can see it. Yeah. There it is, rattling around in there. You can see that, right? There it is. Okay, good. There it is. Now look. Watch this. You can see it. Okay, my friend from Germany, press down and close it. Press down on it. Lift your hand up, you'll be amazed. <laughs> Watch. That's on there, boy. There ain't no messing. Look. That's a great trick. That's what the washer by Pat Conway. It's good. The Enchanted Rabbit exclusive. I'm Joel from Northern Miracles, and we're going to try something with Dean. Dean, Dean, or Dean, Dean. Correct. Magician gag. I'll do the gags. I'll set you up and you can finish them. <laughs> Dean, what would you say this is? Take it. Could be an invisible coin or an invisible okay. card. Go with your first choice. Coin. Correct. Well done. I'm good at this, aren't I? You're very good at this. Okay, so you've gone for a coin. Yeah. So that would bring us to the question, and the question is right here. Will you pick heads or tails? There is tails and there is heads. So, do me a favour, take your coin, yep. flip the coin up in the air, and watch the coin as it stays suspended in the air right here. In a moment, that coin is going to drop back down, and you're going to catch it on your hand. It will either land on heads, or it will land on tails, and only you will know. But that's not strictly true, because I will know as well. And I know you're now probably suspicious. I want you to catch the coin, and 
have a little look and see if it's on heads or tails, but don't tell me. You'd agree there's no way that I could know. So now I'm going to show you the difference between mind reading and a guess. Are you ready? Yep. Heads. No. Well, that was a guess. Now I'm going to show you mind reading. Are you ready? Yeah. Tails. Yeah. That was good, wasn't it? How good was that? That means I get to keep my money. No. It, to be honest with you, there's only one outcome that it could have possibly been. And it was always going to be tails. Do you know why? Because that coin is a double-sided coin. I just didn't tell you. You don't believe me. I'm going to prove it to you. Do you remember at the beginning I said to you, will you pick heads or tails on the card? Have a look at the card. This is the really weird thing. Look, it says you will pick tails, not heads. And look, I crossed, you said tails, right? I crossed heads out before anything happened. It could have only been tails. And you may well be thinking that you wish this was yours, but trust me, if you got to keep this, you wouldn't want it. Because this would have been a reminder, and you'd be wondering how did he know that you would pick tails. All right, so I got, uh, I got a couple of cards here. I got a queen of four. So uh, his thing, you. Um, so I forgot to tell you, you need to keep track of which one the queen is. Were you, were you able to do that? Were you able to follow which one the queen was? Nope. If you had to guess, would you say the queen is on the table or in the back? I'll say the back. Did you peek? Nope. It's in the bag. So if I wanted to, I could just go like that, change it so that it was on. <laughs> Show you one other thing with this. And actually, maybe this is the one you want to put on the wall, right? Yeah. Take the queen and uh, put it in the bag like this. Watch, right? Have it, see it on the front and the back? On the table. I don't know what we're doing. Most people are just like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll get some Inside, when you wait to do the front, right? and on the pedal, don't blink. Or you'll miss a moment. Watch this. One, two, three. For example, you can't be seen. You can't be Just be amazing. Hope you enjoyed that video. I was hoping to do some things a little bit different and do a separate video, but unfortunately, just the way that it happened, I didn't get time to do it. So maybe it's next year for that. But until next time, see ya.